Hello everyone, we want to welcome you to the Philippine Convention. This is the uh, honorable uh, the, the moment to uh, share with you guys. Uh, we really, really are grateful that you do your effort to achieve your rank. Also, remain, uh, re remain your rank and also break through uh, your goal. So uh, this is a wonderful thing to uh, to enjoy, enjoy with every guys, and uh, also we want to uh, celebrate the success with you. We hope the uh, the COVID uh, can get over soon, and that way we can be with you in the Philippines. Now I want to introduce our top leader, Jeff Clinton Lee, to talk to everyone. Hello everyone. I'm so excited about your convention, your virtual convention there in the Philippines. Now we hope this will be our last virtual convention. We hope. I think so. I think eventually this virus is going to flatline. And so we look forward to and are very excited about flying back over there and being with you at your events, walking in the office. Uh, I, you know, just walk. I love always going into the office and seeing the friends and going inside and seeing Eileen in her office, in her command control center. Uh, just, just the energy there at the San Miguel building there in the uh, in Manila, the Four Life office. So I look forward to getting back there. So, what an incredible month we had in June, and we had several people go back to rank and others break rank. So I'm excited for your success. And I'm ex excited for all, all you leaders that uh, have worked really hard uh, in, in, in what you do in supporting your leaders. This hasn't been easy. We went through a pandemic. We saw things that my parents have never seen. Things that your parents have never seen. We haven't seen anything like this since yeah, what, 1918? I wasn't alive then. Neither were my parents in 1918. But we got a good taste of what a pandemic is like, and it's not fun, is it? How it affected things economically, how businesses were shut down. I can remember when this came, uh, when the pandemic started, I thought, how will this affect us? Tony Robbins talks about adversity. He said, in adversity, we have a choice. We can either freeze to death or go snow skiing. He likened it adversity to winter. Yes, we can either freeze to death or go snow skiing. It's our choice. And some froze to death. I can say the Philippines did not do that. They went snow skiing. You guys adapted and changed. You showed up in such big ways that I'm, I'm so proud of. And I was so happy to see it. Yes, I was worried. I was worried. I thought, okay, how will they respond? How will they, will, will they adapt and change? I mean, many of you have Facebook pages, but not so many of you are really online people. And yet you adapted and changed. You started using Zoom. You started using your Facebook, your Instagram accounts differently. You started communicating with people online. I mean, you showed up in ways that was so big, so huge and really showed how powerful you really are. But there's no question about it. I saw God's work in all of this because with, with him, anything is possible. Anything is possible. And so I saw that with you. And it was just wonderful how it worked out. And not only, it's not just about the business. You know, I'll have to say, Raymond Mendoza, you know, he led the, uh, you know, the the, the frontliners approach, uh, I forget what group you called that. It was an incredible group where you were reaching out and you were helping people with the pandemic, with the products. And I'll never forget Mon's leadership in, uh, in all of this, his love for people. Uh, we'll never forget him. And we certainly wanna carry on his legacy. We wanna make Four Life great in the Philippines, but we wanna make you great. We want to see you succeed. And this July, there's still incentives going on. Take advantage of them. And then also, 
get creative, get resourceful about how you can grow your business. I did so many Zoom calls with, uh, with Alenia Sullivan uh, and, and all, uh, you know, all of you in, in the Philippines uh, in the month of June. Uh, I became the first platinum elite. Yes, I couldn't have got there without you, so thank you. But I, I can tell you day in and, and at night, early in the morning till the afternoon, till late at night to the next day, every day in June, we kept pushing, pushing, pushing. I love our new rank enhancements. I love the philosophy. I love the flow. I love how the shares double as you grow to the next rank, as you hit the next rank, how they double. So the money is there, the rewards are there. And, and the confusion that we had in the past is not there. You know, between International Diamond and Gold International Diamond, Inter International Diamond 20,000 points, Gold International Diamond 250,000 points. It's like trying to jump over the Grand Canyon. And Danny created that wonderful bridge that we saw that now we have the, you know, these elite positions. And then of course, International Diamond became bronze and now we have bronze elite, silver, silver elite. That's the bridge between what used to be International Diamond and gold. Now we have the bridge, it makes total sense. What didn't make total sense to me is when they created another rank position at the end. Uh, you know, platinum was hard enough, right? And then they come platinum elite. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I've got a stretch? Yeah. So I decided to do it and go for it. I'm 65 years old. I still got the fight in me. I still hope you got the fight in you. I still want to go. I still want to take transfer factor around the world. Look how many Filipinos live around the world. They're everywhere, everywhere. And you can reach out to them. You can build a global business. Build it in the Philippines, build it around the world. I wanna see you be everything that you wanna be. You can do it. You just have to make up your mind. I remember Roger Bannister there, but no one that ever ran the mile in four minutes was never considered possible. He did it. But what was interesting is after he did it, several people did it. Well, why did those people never do it before? Because it takes one person to show it can be done. You be that person. Go and do things that you didn't think were possible. I'm gonna, I, yeah, sure, I had some insecurities about Platinum International, uh, or now we just call it Platinum Elite. You know, for me to hit Platinum Elite, it's not easy. Because you know how it is, Platinum structure, three gold legs, and those golds have what? International diamonds, now we call them bronze. But now in each of those legs that qualifies a gold international diamond, we've got to find another leader with three bronze legs. It's crazy, isn't it? I mean, just when you look at it, to go platinum elite, it's like 27 across. It's like, what? Yeah. So I had to push myself. And that was the thing. And I saw so many of you Filipinos rise to the challenge and you did it. Now, my message to you is don't stop. Don't stop. I want you, when we have convention in 2022, I want you coming to my mountain here. So many Filipinos have been in this room. You see that stage there? I couldn't tell you how many Filipinos have sung in those microphones doing karaoke. We had so many parties here. After convention, they come here and stay a week and we party and they karaoke and we go out and we do exciting things together. We have these great cabins in the mountain. I put them up in the cabins and then, and then uh, we have bears, wildlife, so much to do, so much fun. Dollywood. Eileen remembers that well, some of you do, going to Dolly Parton's famous theme park. Man, they're expanding that now. They're putting a $500 million expansion in right now. So that's an incredible experience. How many of you remember Dixie Stampede, a horse dinner theater where they, where young, boy, young boys and young girls come out on horses and, and, they, and, and it is so entertaining, the music, the songs, the, the wagons, the buffalo, everything, the dancing, 
everything that goes on in that in that uh, that auditorium. Uh, what an incredible experience Dixie Stampede is. How many of you remember the Biltmore that was built in uh, 1895 by one of the richest families in America's history, the Vanderbilts? That French chateau in the mountains was built in the year 1895. And in the year of 1895, it had electricity, it had gas, it had a, heat, it had a heated indoor pool, it had its, he had his own bowling alley. How many of you remember his library? Oh my gosh, that castle, that French chateau. We take the leaders to that too, because I'd like them to see what's possible, that you can dream big and do great things. And then of course the national park, that's across the, the view from me right now. Uh, the, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. We go back there, we do fun things. But every night we come back to this room and we party. We party and we karaoke and we have fun. And so I wanna, I wanna challenge you to go big, to go big starting at your convention, July, resolving yourself, you're gonna go big. Reach out to me in Facebook and Instagram. Message me if you need help. But I know that a lot of your upline leaders are giving you that help, but let's get together. Because I did that with so many of the leaders in the Philippines, I did that with so many of you in the month of July. We were doing Zoom calls day and night, nonstop, every day, and great things were accomplished. Don't stop doing those great things. Don't stop doing that work. Let's keep it going. Let's keep our speed going. Let's keep the momentum going. It's a whole lot easier now when it's going. But if we go to sleep, then everything stops and it takes a great effort to push and get it going again. No, I'm not saying don't rest. I'm not saying don't have fun. For life meant to give you a life and it has given us a life. But what I'm saying is, let's not, let's not retire from this. I'm more committed than ever. Let's keep these Zoom calls going. Decide what your goals are. Talk to your upline, let's talk in groups, let's get, get, get these Zoom calls going. Let's rock, let's roll. And then in 2022, then I want you guys coming to this mountain and we're gonna plan it big. This will be the biggest <laughs> hee-haw event we ever had here, okay? This will be the biggest event uh, uh, after convention coming here. I don't care how many hundreds of people we have. We're gonna do it. And we're gonna do it bigger than we ever did. It'll be the biggest celebration because it's the celebration that we needed after this pandemic. And so what I'm saying is I want you here, but do you wanna be here? So show your great general manager, Eileen, Eileen Tan, who we love so much, how bad you want it. And let's talk about it because that's what we did in May. We got, we got the leaders together when I wanted to go platinum elite, we got the leaders together and I said, okay, do you guys want to break rank? Do you want to go for it? And they said, yes. I said, let's do it. Now understand, we, get rid of the words try, maybe, somehow, if. No, get rid of those words and replace them with we'll do it. Yes, of course, we must. Change your language, change your mindset. It changes everything. Go big, go big after this convention and thank you for having me at your virtual convention. I love all of you, take care.